I, I, I only live for attention. Please, if you're not giving me attention, I'm going to die. I'm going to starve. Oh, my God. I need attention. I wish he would talk to me. I'm going to go focus my energy on another guy or find another guy that will give me validation. He'll say, oh, wow, you're so desperate for that attention. So let's say we bargain here. I give you a little bit of attention and you give me your pussy. Sounds fair. And you'll be like, <laughs> It's fair. It's fair. I didn't say anything for attention, please. Anything I can do for attention, I'll do it. If you, if you, I'll give you that. I'll give you my pussy. And if, you, I'll, if you just give me attention, I'll give it. To why, why would he offer you a whole, but like, why would he go over the top when he sees you're that desperate? Why would he go over the top? He'd be like, I'll just give you a little bit. What are you going to do for me? And then you're sitting there so desperate. You're, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Anything you want. I'll do it. Do what I want. And I'll, and I'll give you a little bit of attention and validation. You do for him what you do for him, right? He gets what he wants out of it. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to go over here. I'm bored now. And what I'm trying to do is help you come up with what you want for yourself outside of the validation and the, and the man and the boys and the boys and the boys. Because what happens is you bring that confidence into a relationship and guys can sense that also, right? Guys can sense the type of girls that love bombing even works on and the type of girls where they're wasting their time. And that's why they know when to use that against you. They can sense when you're so desperate for that uh, attention and validation that if they talk to you the right way, they say the right things, they'll know they extract, they'll be able to extract exactly what they want from you. Love bombing can also come in the, in the form of him spending money on you. And I know you guys don't want to hear this because I see this a lot of times on my comments. I read all my comments. I read everything that people say under my videos, right? All the critiques you guys have. And I appreciate them. I see a lot of you guys talking about Oh, well, I'm really willing to do deal with toxic, toxicity, narcissism, whatever it may be. I'm willing to deal with uh, all of that if I'm getting the bag or I'm getting money or he's paying for everything. And I know there's some other people that preach that, oh, get that money out of him, get what you need out of him, make him pay for, make him pay for stuff. That's good and that's fine. Sir. But what I want to caution you in that is convincing yourself that your value is what a guy will spend on you. Because the reason you you will trick yourself a lot of times is because you'll just run into guys who have a better understanding of what you think makes you valuable. And if they have disposable income, they'll give you that and then they'll still use you and walk away. Right. Don't convince yourself that if a guy is spending money on you, then that should trump everything else. Because like I say, that can also be a form of love bombing. A guy can take you on fancy dates and spend spend a lot of money on a fancy date and give you a couple nice gifts. And then you have sex with them after a couple weeks. And then he's like, okay, cool. I'm good. I had some disposable income anyway. So like be on your way. And it's the same thing, except instead of using the, uh, instead of using his words for the attention and the validation, he just used his wallet to make you feel like you're validated, right? Oh, you think if I spend $300 on you on a date, you're validated? Oh, whatever. Yeah. So oh, 300, whatever. I can fuck first night if I spend 300 on the date and I offer to pay for the date. I'll save up. I'll save a couple extra dollars. You're impressed now. Okay. We can go back to my place, share some wine now. Okay. Bet, 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 ski, bet, ski, bet, ski. They spend a little 300, 200, whatever for the date. You're impressed because you got the bag, right? You, you get, you get to go brag to your friends that a guy took you out on a nice $200 date and he still gets you on the first night and he still ghosts you after the world has you guys convinced that you should be trading in your soul and your spirit and your body for money or that the money should represent his, the money should be validating to you about how he views you or, or your worth somehow. As if your body, your spirit, your spirit, your mind, your soul can uh, a monetary value can be placed on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I just and I'm not saying that say, oh, a guy should never spend money on you or it's bad if he spends money. on. I just want you to understand like that's not the be all and end all. I don't want your mind to be don't have your mind so focused on that, that you trick yourself again as your mind shifts from one thing to the other. And you say, oh, well, I'm not going to accept love bombing from guys who just tell me they want to make me his wife or his or his girlfriend or the mother of his children. But if a guy offers to pay for a three hundred dollar date, then not then I know he really wants me and that will make me feel validated. Then you just find yourself in the same cycle. It's just now instead of the guys telling you they want to make you your wife and mother or children, you just end up going on a bunch of dates with guys who will spend $300 on a date or $200 on a date. 
and then they fuck you on the first night and they still do the same thing to you. I don't want you to be so focused on the money aspect that you end up getting love bombed in a way that is just monetary instead of the words. I don't think there's anything wrong with him being um, 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 stable enough financially that he can take care of you, but don't get yourself convinced that if a guy that you just met will spend $200 on you, that then that means that you're validated. And now because you're seeking that validation just in a different way, you accept that and you're desperate for that. You're like, please spend money on me. Please spend money on me. And then when he finally does, you're like, okay, now I'll give you what you want. Like, like I said, it's about balance. Don't, don't take what I say and be like, okay, yeah, I won't believe in that. And then you, and then you position yourself into another total extreme where you're like, all I'm thinking about is money, 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 money. Is he spending money? Is he spending money? Is he spending money? Is he spending money? Right. You will still get played that way. You'll just get played in a different way. Don't be so focused on money that you don't do any of the job of trying to understand, is he really interested in you? Can he be consistent with you? Is he here for the right reasons? Because you'll just end up getting played. You'll just spend a lot more time with the guys who have money that still play you. They just play you and spend money on you. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, you leave there with, you know, a couple dates and maybe a couple extra gifts. But at the end of the day, you still don't have the relationship. So what was the point? If you want to sit there and brag about your failed relationships where they spent a lot of money on you, it's still a failed relationship. It's still a waste of a body. It's still you giving your mind, soul, and spirit to a man um, who is just gone off and discarded of you. So, like, I mean, you're you're still traumatized. You, I guess you got a little bit, a couple extra gifts, but you're still traumatized. What is that really worth? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why I say I want you to be aware, like, you know, like, don't don't take it to another extreme. Not every guy is actively thinking in their mind, oh, I'm going to say exactly this and do exactly that in order to extract sex from her. As soon as I extract sex from her, I'm going to throw her in the trash bin. I, I'm not saying that it's that malicious, but I, what I do want you to understand is there's a, a learned behavior that guys develop through the process of growing and understanding relationships where they understand that particular women are seeking validation and are desperate for that validation and that attention. So if they can do anything, if there's anything they can do to give them uh, more validation and attention or make them feel like they have more validation and attention, it will make it easier for them to get what they want, right? Which is to be able to sleep with you or <clears throat> to be able to have that intimacy or access to you earlier than they regularly would. Because if a guy sat there and he was rational with you, he talked to you, um, um, he was just respectful instead of love bombing. He only said things that he really meant and he really felt as opposed to just saying what makes you feel good. Well, then it would probably take him longer to get what he wants. And we all know that a guy would rather do less work to get more out of it than do more to get less. You meaning you, like, look in my eyes, like you, I'm speaking to you, like you, look at your phone, I'm looking at you, 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 you. Believe that you are amazing and wonderful and magnificent. You've also watched a lot of Disney princess movies in which the princess is so amazing, beautiful, magnificent that the prince charming just wants to sweep her off her feet and make her feel good and take her to a land far, far, far away. And everything should be amazing. Naturally, you've projected that onto yourself. And now when a guy comes to you and he's like, you're so amazing and beautiful and wonderful that I want to take you to a land far, far, far away, even though I just met you a couple of days ago or I just met you this week or we've only been on two dates you believe that, right? Because you've internalized the Disney princess movies that you've been watching when you're younger. You've internalized the Wattpad stories that you've been watching, right? Or sorry, but that you've been uh, reading. You've internalized the smut books that you've been reading, okay? I believe there's another app called Episode that has, you know, kind of like Wattpad type stories on there, right? You've internalized all of that stuff that you've been consuming, projecting it onto yourself, right? And so when a guy finally comes along and he presents to you that same passion, right? Of like, I just want to be with you. I want you so badly. I can't get enough of you. And he's literally just met you. You start to feel like, wow, this is my what pad story. This is my episode. This is my um, smart book. This is my Disney princess movie, right? Rather than sitting down and analyzing, does this even make sense for him to be saying in a week's time? Does this, does he even know anything about me, right? At this point in time for him to be saying this, 
about me or our relationship? Is this on a timeline that even feels right or comfortable? Or am I too emotional about the situation? And if I were to step back from it, I would realize that there's no way this can be true. When I say no way this can be true, meaning that there's no way you can be sure that you want me to have your babies after a week's time, because there's no way you would know as uh, enough about me in order to be able to make that decision. You understand what I'm saying? Because having a child is not just, oh, let's have a child. And then after I get bored, we throw the child in the trash bin and go about our separate lives. Having a child is a forever thing that links you guys together for like a life. There's a technique in, in, in business in sales where you over you over I forget what the actual term is called, but you basically oversell them on the idea of something really big at the beginning. That's very expensive. Right. Knowing that that's not what you're actually trying to sell them. OK, because if you actually sold them the most expensive thing right at the beginning, they just be like, no. But what happens is when you try to sell them on the most expensive, biggest, largest product at the beginning, the plus, plus, plus. And then you go down to like the product that's like, you know, $100 or $200, still expensive, but not as expensive as the top tier product. What ends up happening is they are like relative to what you just offered me. That feels like a lot less expensive and a lot less extravagant. So I'd rather go with that, even though that's what you were originally trying to sell them in the first place. Um, when he tells you, oh, I want I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to marry you. I want to make you my girlfriend. I want to make you my wife. I want you to be the mother to my children, this and that, da, 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 right? And let's say you guys haven't had sex or anything like that. And then, you know, you internalize all this. You're like, okay, I'm ready to be the mother of your children. I'm ready to be your wife. I'm ready to do this, that. I love you so much. And it's been a week, right? So then what happens when he says, okay, well, let's just have, you know, like we should have sex or are you ready for us to have sex, right? Rather than you now feel like, oh, well, you're already ready for all of this. You're already ready for all that. So even if I'm not yet ready for that, I am ready to take uh, the step of us at least, you know, being intimate with each other, because that is not as much as like getting married or being a girlfriend or whatever, but it's a lot less, but I can do that right now. When in reality, that's all, that's all he wanted, right? It's, it's kind of like the oversell of the big thing and the extravagant thing, right? And it sounds nice. So then when he sells you on the much smaller thing on a smaller plane, relative to what he just offered you right because having a child is a lifetime commitment marriage is a lifetime commitment you guys just having sex right now is not a lifetime commitment okay that's just fun in the moment right so it feels like a lot less commitment but you also feel like you're ready for that level of commitment because he's presented to you like he's ready for this full-on life commitment to give yourself your own validation figure out what makes you happy figure out what make what you're passionate about and what you love for yourself 